Hello everyone, this is Will from Apple 121. Thank you for joining me for this video. We're gonna do something a little different than we've done in the past. And I wanted to go over one of the apps that I use on a daily basis that I absolutely love and I recommend that you install this because one, it's completely free, but two, it allows you to stream all of your favorite streaming sites, plus add a some browser features that don't exist on other ones and even ad blockers and that is the friendly streaming browser this is available on the app store and you could download this for free to put on your computer and it allows you to switch between all your different streaming sites right from one app i'm going to go over a little bit about the app and how to add maybe things that aren't automatically there so you can get an idea of how this works First, we're going to talk about the interface. Right now, we have the toolbar that's right here at the top. We have our menu bar up here, and then we have all different icons. I'm going to go through a couple of them. So number one is this one right here, which I think is the most important one, which is called the channel selector. This is where you go over and you actually add all the services that you want on here. As I, uh, I will tell you that it gives you a history of your streaming. It lets you discover things that, if you're looking for certain things, where you can watch those items, and you can add the certain channels on here. Most of the channels I've already set up, I'm gonna go through how they work. So, for example, we're on Netflix right now, is I could pick something to watch, and then I can go ahead and I'm gonna play Blue Mountain State, one of my favorite. But there are some features on here that you don't get. So, number one, this icon up here changes based on what you're doing. So, for example, one of my favorite things to do is to fast forward video. So I can go here, go to one times, times and that will actually fast forward all of the content that I'm watching. This is a great feature. It allows me to go backwards 10 seconds, forward 30 seconds. And that's what's great about this is that you can actually go ahead and actually fast forward your video because not every browser offers that option and I think this is awesome to have and that alone makes me want to have this app because HBO Max may not do it, Netflix may not do it on the web version because what they're basically doing is taking the website version of the streaming app and they're putting it in here but they add more controls that you normally don't get. You have a volume controller here and this icon changes depending on what you're doing. So we also have a stack Stats thing that tells me like some information about stats about what I'm watching. There's my history button of what I've actually done. And then one of my other favorite features is window transparency. I can actually fade this out. So if I'm working on other things, I can kind of have it blend into the background. I can also control the brightness. So I can go here and lower the brightness, saturation, and contrast. Sometimes I like doing that, especially if it's like darker. Also, I can apply it to the video only, so the black bars will stay the way they are, and then that way it only works on the video itself, not the black bars on there. So that's a feature you don't get uh, in a lot of places. They also have their own little theater mode. So if I go and do this, now we have these controls in a more cleaner window. So now I can move this around, it's very clean, and then when I actually move my arrow up or down the page, I will get the viewer down here that has all the basic same controls you saw before. Uh, I don't typically use this feature, I don't think it's useful for me, but you could definitely change the, the player position, but I'm going to X this out. So all you got to do now is if you don't want to be in Netflix anymore, just click on here and we can go into our Disney+. Plus. Now, it's very good at keeping the login. Um, I will say that some of the downsides of this app, sometimes the login doesn't always stick, but most of the time it does. So now I'm, now I'm inside my Disney app, and if I'm playing in here, again, it, you can see that there are differences in the player. So if I go to my Boy Meets World, which is one of my favorites to watch, and here's the ads, and then I can go here, and again, the same controls are here. There is options also if you have to copy the URL for any reason, you could share it, you could open a new tab, a new window, uh, you could switch to the channels right here, so if you want to just rather go here and do the channels, you can see all your recent things that you've watched. Uh, you can also save items, so things that you want to get back to over time. You could go back to the Discover, which is going back to the Discover page of what you're looking for in particular. So, if I'm going to look for, let's say, I like Unsolved Mysteries, one of my favorite shows just growing up as a kid, see if I could find anything, but it's just a Google search, as you can see it's not really that valuable on here but I can watch it on Pluto TV for free and Pluto TV is available as one of the options so you can see it's right here and it took me right to it so there are reasons to do it like I said it's a web version of the website but as you can see I can easily get to something here
What if there's something in this list that I don't have? So let's do an example. I'm gonna add Spotify here. A few moments later. Okay, so because Spotify was being a pain in the butt, what I'm gonna do is I added actually Apple Music on here. So I'm just gonna delete this because I wanna see what you did. So I went to the website and I hit add, site URL, I paste the URL, which automatically grabs the icon. And then of course it has a site name, so I'm gonna call it Apple Music. You can use Spotify too, I'm just giving you an example. Uh, so now I added it, and now I can just open Apple Music. Now, of course, I'm on my. I'm just showing you as an example. Uh, but here's the music app, and I already signed into it. So now all my music is right here. So again, same deal is I'm taking all these different services and I'm adding them here. So you have to go to each one and sign in. Uh, if I go to Max, now they just had a change because they went from HBO Max. The one thing that's always confusing though is YouTube. So YouTube does have some special features on here. Uh, you can see this by going to the, this icon up here has now changed to this little gear icon and they do have a ad skipper built in on this now what's interesting about the ad skipper is if you sign into the account if you sign into your YouTube account one thing I will tell you is if you do have some kind of a two-factor authentication I've had some trouble signing in here however if you go and watch a video uh, it's gonna go through all the the skipping thing and that's just what it does so just something to show you that they have some advanced controls built on here that you normally don't have. If you are having some problems with the ad skipper, you can reset the YouTube session, but it will sign you out. So something to keep in mind when it comes to the YouTube on here is that it it's a little finicky, and I would recommend not even signing into an account, to be real honest with you. So just something to think about. But they do have some advanced features on YouTube. And if you do pay for their streaming service, they do have some more things, including like Hulu skipping and stuff like that. So this is a really, really great app. I really enjoy this. I think it's the best one that's worked so well. And I haven't really switched at all since there. So I want to give the, the team at Friendly Streaming some really good props. I think they created something really great and that you can go through and look at all the different platforms. And as you can see, like right here, like it signed me out of my Peacock account. I signed back into my Peacock, so everything's there again. So again, going across all the different platforms of what you need to look at, sometimes you may have to sign out, sign back in, but the majority of the time, everything is there. Even my Plex is up here, which is great. I love having the Plex up here. So uh, I wanted to go through and show you this. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video going to give you an idea of an app that I use on a pretty frequent basis that might be able to help you out in the future. Uh, definitely like and subscribe our content. I really thank everyone for for joining us and I love every single one of you.